Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my concealer. This is a concealer tutorial, a quick concealer tutorial. How I currently do my concealer and kind of give you some guidelines and tips on how to do yours if you're new or if you're looking for a refresher. So before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed already, what the crap are you doing? I'm just kidding. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload. And I upload mm -mm, three times a week. Mm -mm, three new beauty videos every week. What? Just kidding. Let's get into this video. I'm going to start by showing you guys some products that I used before I put on my foundation because I do have my foundation on as you can tell. And the reason that I did all of my other makeup is because I really do want to just focus on the concealer itself. So the first thing that I put on underneath my foundation is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Under Eye Primer. Guys, this stuff is literally... <sighs> They have not made anything like this and I absolutely love it. I cannot not use it. I'm going to be buying more. I just, it's so good. I know that Milk Makeup, I believe just came out with an under eye one or maybe it's a lid one. I don't remember, but I ordered it. So we'll have to see, but I'm excited to try that too. However, this is the one I really, really enjoy. So the second thing I like to go underneath with, and I don't know if you can tell that I have just a little one, is the Dragon Beauty Color Correcting Concealer. And this is, I don't know what the shade is. I don't know if it has a name, but it's just the orange one. And it basically gets rid of like blue undertones or dark colored undertones. So I put just a little right here where I get the most concerns with my dark under eyes. Now, you guys see when I put on my concealer and I just kind of like blend it away and then we move on. I'm going to show you guys basically what I do when the camera isn't on instead of me just going ah, ha, ha, pounce, pounce, pounce. No, it's not really how that works. So the first thing that I do go into over top of my makeup is the Becca Cosmetics and this is the under eye brightening corrector. Now this corrects and brightens. So it has like, um, this one is almost like a salmon-y undertone, like an orangey salmon color and so it's not only going to correct that color but it's also going to bring out the brightness of my under eye and I like to go in with just a very dense itty bitty dense brush this is from morphe this is an m173 and i just go in a little you can go in with your finger you can go in with a beauty blender which i will show you that i do so what i like to do with this one again is kind of just focus it right in here be very light when you're working with your under eye when you're working with your eye area in general because it's very sensitive and delicate skin you don't want to pull and cause yourself to have some wrinkles so I'll also dab just a little out here of this. I like to use this one above my foundation. I know that you can use it above your foundation. I believe you can use it above concealer, below concealer. There's all different ways, but the way that I like to do it is before my concealer. But I just like to buff it right where I get the most dark like underneath my under eyes because they don't get too terrible but my under eyes can they can get pretty dark underneath so I literally just place it just like that like it looks shiny but just give it one second and then I go with the same beauty blender I did my foundation with not my concealer yet and I just lightly press 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 just to make sure it's all blended in and bring it a little bit down I love this stuff and it just sucks so bad because Becca's going out of business so if someone else has this similar product, that would be great. I think actually Becca closes. Ooh, I think Becca closes this month. I think September is the month. But look how much... I need to get back on topic. Look how much brighter my under eye already looks. And I haven't even used concealer. It's such a good texture. Like it's not thick. It's not too runny. I do like that it's shiny because it does bring that light. That glossy just like draws the light to your eyes. But in such a good way. So we're going to move right along to the concealer. Okay. So I do two different things. So I'm going in with the Tarte Cosmetics Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. There is the original shape tape. Which I do really really enjoy. But I find that this one's just a little bit more lightweight and not as heavy on my under eye which I really like so I did start going with that whole trend of like just put it here and here but I also put a little here and then I'm going to show you what else I do before I blend it so put it here and then here and then I'm also going to show you I put it right on the tip of my nose and then I drag it up just a little now I have kind of like a pretty small forehead I wish my forehead was a little bit bigger so I just kind of go up just a smidge because I don't want it to look like I'm all forehead. And then I go here. If I'm trying to be like super, super like glammed, 
I will put some here um, to kind of cut that contour area out but since I'm not doing full full glam I really just don't do that often so the next thing I actually go into is also Dragon Beauty this is the lavender or light purple one and this also helps combat like yellow undertones and helps to highlight I just go in with one dab and literally right here in the center just like that just a little right in the center of all that and then hmm, see it I don't literally these will last me forever because that's what I do now that looks like a lot of concealer I know we're gonna we're gonna take our time again with this step you can use a dense blending packing blending brush whichever you can use more of a fluffier small one a beauty blender or even like a tiny like dense eyeshadow brush will work or your fingers I just do not prefer my fingers now the first like I like to do is I like to go in with my chin just because it doesn't have that purple but you want to kind of be quick when you're working with concealer because what's going to happen is it tends to dry and it doesn't matter what concealer it is. Now some do dry obviously faster than others but you just don't want, you don't want it to dry. There was one concealer and I can't remember what brand it was that like you could only do one eye at a time because if you took too long it would dry and you couldn't blend it. Also, what I want you to notice is how much, like, just fuller my forehead looks. It doesn't look too small. It doesn't look too crazy. Just make sure you're blending it all the way in. And as always, just slowly, slowly, if you feel like you need more, add more. Start small, add more. You don't want to get too crazy and then you're like, all this craziness. I think I might have put too much on my inner corner, but we're going to see. So with this one, I like to start to pack my concealer down. You're not wiping. If you wipe, you're going to start to wipe your makeup away that's underneath. So you're just lightly packing down and I lower it to my chin. Now, don't go too low, but I do go a little bit lower than most people. So I'll go to like here. It's going to make my face like kind of look like, ugh. but then I put my bronzer, my blush on and you can't even see that I took it down there. So I'm going to get carefully into this corner and then down the side of my nose and I like to go underneath my nose and that just like look how much that like brightened up that whole area already so I like to take this all the way to all the way up and all the way to my hairline now a lot of people will say well don't take it all the way back because it kind of like pulls your face that's what I wanted to do because I have a round face and also I put my bronzer my contour or my bronzer and my blush here so you won't see it as much but you will see like that pulled back snatched look which is what I am essentially looking for because I do have more of a round face type. And you're just doing this really lightly because you don't want to go too crazy and just start beating the crap out of your face. Like I see some people when they go in with their beauty blenders, I've seen people, okay, just like bah, 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 bah. And I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God. Like hitting your face harder is not going to make it blend any faster. And you want to take your time. You just want to make sure you're blending. I know that on camera, we only show blending for like five seconds and it's like, ooh. No, again, blending takes time. Lots and lots of time and patience. Just to make sure you want it all pressed into your skin. So I like to look up when I'm doing my under eyes so I can really make sure because I do have fine lines there. And I'm going to tell you guys, there is no concealer that is crease proof. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna say it. Okay, I said it. Uh, there is no crease proof concealer because if you have fine lines, I do. I have fine lines and I have texture under my eye. That is a part of my skin. The only way I'm getting rid of that is by filler or Botox and I'm just not really there yet. I'm not I'm not ready yet for that um, journey. So I have accepted and it's taken me a long time that the beauty industry will tell you everything is creaseless, smooth, beautiful, perfect. And it's just not, it's not the case. So if you're sitting here and you're like, oh my God, their, their concealer looks so smooth. First of all, it's editing. It's editing. Let's take that, to, take it down. You're still amazing. You're still, you're like up here. Come on now. And two, if they get filler and they get Botox, their under eye is already smooth. It's not going to crease because there's nothing to crease. So if you are a normal everyday person and you got fine lines and you got a little wrinkles, we don't like to say that word, but if you got a little wrinkles, you got some dryness, you got some texture, it's going to show and that's okay because you're a normal person, a human being, if you will, and we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to do the best that we can to feel the best that we can. You're not going to be as smooth as a baby's bottom because at the end of the day we've gone through things in our life we've aged it just is what it is it is what it is all you can do is just drink more water 
drink more water and just love you. Just love, just love you. So the next thing that I do is I literally like that, that is it. Now you can always go back in if this doesn't seem bright enough for you, if it doesn't seem heavy enough, like if you feel like you lifted something up. That's why I say also don't go in with a brush unless you're going in to just kind of touch up in here with a brush because it's easier, easier than with a beauty blender. But don't, I don't like to use a brush when it comes to concealer. I do like to use it for foundation. But when it comes to concealer, I'm kind of picky because I just don't, I don't want to tug. I don't want to cause any like of my dry skin to like patch up or anything. So I just, I really like to use a beauty blender. But you can use any beauty sponge you want. It doesn't have to be beauty blender. Beauty blender. Beauty blender brand. So I'm going to go into a different beauty sponge because these are actually both from Lunar Beauty. They're not beauty blenders. So I don't know why I'm saying that. It's actually become my favorite. So my favorite powder is the Pressed Powder by Dragon Beauty. This is the Transformation Palette or Transformation Powder. Transformation Face Powder. It has a pink one and it has a yellow one. So this one's going to highlight and I think this one is supposed to like combat the dark like circles or darkness if there's anything left over. I like to go, <laughs> wait for it, in with a damp beauty blender. This is going to be your best friend. If you're using loose setting powder, that's fine. Still damp. You don't want it soaked, but you don't want it dry. I like to go in with the yellow, a little of the pink, and then a little bit of with the yellow. Now that looks real crazy. It's going to look real crazy on my face. Just watch. I do like loose powder, but this palette is just amazing. So I like to go in here and just really press it. Press it. That wet sponge is going to give you such a perfect placement with that powder. Like, it's not even funny. Like, just look. Just look. It looks so good. After I do that, I'm going to come over here and do this one because I don't want it to crease too much. The powder, the setting powder, will stop it from creasing a lot, but you're still going to have creases. So, set because it will stop it from being extremely creasy versus, you know your normal. And I only use the damp beauty blender for that portion. That inner corner, if you look here, I'm looking at my monitor, that inner corner, how bright that is right now, how so bright that is. It looks so good. All right. Now what I like to do, I like to go in with a powder brush. I like this one from Morphe and Ariel. I like this one from Morphe. I like this one from Sephora collection. I think it is a 79 Pro. It's a Pro contouring brush actually and I still use it for powder. And then I like to use this one. So this is this is actually my favorite one to use. This is the Morphe uh, Morphe E49 and what I'm going to do, sometimes I'll go into a loose powder if I don't want it to be too crazy bright, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tap some of that yellow and some of that pink and then tap it off so I don't have too much powder and do the rest of my face. The reason that I say that is because if you have dry skin and you're out here taking that wet beauty blender and that powder and just caking it on your face all over everywhere, you're going to get a dry situation you don't want to have. So I don't recommend that. I just recommend really, if you're more dry, I do not recommend setting baking under your eye. Like you can set, like I'm doing with very little at a time. Like I literally just tap, 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 tap. And then I set with a little at a time until it's where I like it to be because I do not bake my under eye. I don't bake my under eye because I have dryness under here. I have texture under here. So if you have all that and you wind up sitting there baking your face for five to ten minutes, you're going to come out a crusty, musty mess. I can't. That is just is what it is. So I do not recommend that. I also don't set the rest of my face. I do like my bronzing powder and whatever, but I don't do like a translucent powder over my face just because I try to avoid at all costs my face looking crusty and cakey. Now, literally, that is that is my concealer tutorial. But I'm gonna go off camera. I'm going to finish the rest of this makeup and then we'll come back for my final thoughts. All right, everybody, I am back. I just had to put on some blush and bronzer and everything. So once I put all that on, if you can see here, really only this part of it shows. So basically putting it down here is really kind of pointless and I get that, I get that it's kind of a waste, but I just feel better knowing like my shape is covered because I would have to sit here and go, okay, 
bring it down just over here and then if it's not enough then I'm bringing my blush out way too high etc so I just feel more comfortable bringing it down to where I do and then covering it with the rest of it if it's too much yeah. I know that it was really fast it was a quick tutorial but your focus is going to be whatever is personally something that you want to cover whether it be dark circles whether it be highlighting whether it be lifting snatching there's so many different techniques you can for concealer I'm just here to tell you what colors so for instance orange is going to be combating blues and all that good stuff and I think green greens too maybe I don't remember but definitely blues so your under eyes your dark circles or around your mouth darkness and then the purple is going to help highlight I love to mix this just a little bit with my concealer as I'm blending because that light lavender purple really really just gives me that big oomph. I do put a lot of concealer under my eyes on camera but I don't do it as much or as often as you would think normally on a regular everyday basis but when I'm on camera I really just like to have the light hit my under eye and it just be like whoa and again your forehead is just gonna depend it's go if you have a bigger forehead you're not gonna want to take as high as I took that concealer you don't want to do that you actually want to bring your bronzer down to make your forehead look smaller okay if you have a larger chin area just skip the concealer there I just have like a non-existent chin because I'm fat you know what I mean so I have to put it there so you could be like oh that's her chin that's not her neck that's her chin you know what I mean you know what I mean <laughs> but if you have a smaller forehead you are gonna want to bring that up higher bronzer not as low because it's going to give you that small look okay so concealer is it's to conceal issues that you have whether it be blemishes or whatever I just want you guys to understand that concealer is not going to erase texture it's not going to erase fine lines and wrinkles it's not going to be this magic cream that you put on your face and all of a sudden you just look smooth and flawless it like any other makeup item is to enhance your already beautiful self and it's just such a good technique I don't know how years ago I was not using concealer my flat flat face okay let me tell you when I say it's flat and I don't mean like oh I'm not chunky because years ago I was still chunky not the point flat as in I only wore foundation I did not wear bronzer I did not wear blush sometimes I wore blush most of the time I did not no concealer no not foundation the dullest flattest maddest look you could see like that was just me but I just really I love concealer like I absolutely it doesn't matter how much concealer I have I'm buying more to try it because I just need to know I need to know if it's gonna be good and then what like I said go slow go slow if you're new to it start slow try it out a little bit at a time you don't feel like it covered everything you want go back in where you missed and do that don't just cake and cake and cake and draw don't draw listen I only used to do it too but don't draw these big triangles on your eyes and fill them in it's too much for that delicate small area it's way too much what you want to do go in small see where you need more if you need more put it there and then dab it out I'm telling you it's gonna make your eyes feel so much better it won't feel as heavy it will not look as cakey I mean again if you have texture fine lines etc etc I've said it before you're gonna have it after you put the concealer on but it will not make it look as cakey if you were to just color blocks under your eyes you don't have to do everything you see you don't have to pick and choose go through videos concealer videos find out what technique works for you what face you have shape you have that's the first thing you have to do is figure out what face shape you have and then go from there I know that this was a quick video I know that I'm like hey do it this way but also do it however you want but I hope it kind of gave you some guidelines if you have any questions comment them down below I will answer them to the best of my ability of course and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up for me and um yeah we're out of here bye